Today we'll be making shuake pizza with some high-grade ingredients from Lucrea, including joker and akechi. Now, these ingredients both have very bold flavors. The loki akechi is typically harvested later in the season and has a more bitter taste, which balances out quite nicely with the more smooth and adaptable flavor of joker. While they do complement each other quite well, these of course do taste very good on their own. The blade on Akechi is a bit spicy, so if you like things on the milder side, do remove that before beginning, but in general, he is perfect in virtually any type of sauce, whether you lean more towards syrup for some delicious pancakes, or the blood of your enemies on top of a nice victory salad. For the dough, you can really use any type, whether you like to make your own or save some time and purchase a crust, either is fine. For the sauce, we'll actually be using Akechi to boost the flavor of the traditional marinara. First, heat up the sauce and then add your akechi. You can add them in whole, but feel free to chop them into chunks if you desire. Let him simmer for about 10 minutes, sometimes less, sometimes more, just long enough so that he'll essentially get lost in the sauce. And make sure to stir well so you get that nice homogenous texture. Now with Joker, his flavor profile is very robust. He's like an all-in-one. So we're going to mix him in with our mozzarella and a little bit of provolone. Feel free to customize as you like, because at the end of the day, this is pizza, one of the most versatile dishes out there. Continuing on with customization, feel free to add whatever toppings you like. Personally, I prefer a little bit of sauteed Ryuji Nendo, but don't be afraid to mix it up. Once your masterpiece is ready, bake at 475 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes, give or take, depending on your crust. Once it's done, take it out, let it cool, and you've got yourself a shuake pizza ready for eating. Enjoy.